Why PM Modi is visiting Egypt in the second leg of his journey after his first official state visit to the United States of America? I will tell you inside details with analysis. But first, what India's Foreign Secretary Vinay Quatra briefed media on PM Modi's visit to Egypt. Foreign Secretary says PM Modi will be visiting Egypt at the invitation of Egyptian President Abdel Fateh Al Sisi. The state visit will be on June 24th and June 25th. This will be PM Modi's first visit to Egypt and this will also be first official bilateral visit of any Indian PM since 1997. Egyptian president visited India as 74th Republic Day guest from 24 to 26 January this year. PM Modi will interact first with Indian unit. The India unit is a select high level ministers unit created by President Abdel Fateh al-Sisi after his India visit. There were intense ministerial level exchanges after President al-Sisi's India visit. External Affairs Minister S. Jai Shankar, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh and Environmental Minister Bhupendra Yadav visited Egypt in last few months. As Prime Minister Modi embarks on his two-leg journey, a ministerial level delegation led by Chairperson of Suez Canal Authority is back in India. That shows the extent of sharp focus two countries placing on their relations. After India unit interaction, PM Modi will interact with Indian community besides meeting some other prominent personalities back in Egypt. On second day, PM Modi will visit 11th century Al Hakim Mosque, refurbished and renovated by the Bora community. This will be followed by a visit to Heliopolis Commonwealth War Grave Cemetery in Cairo suburb to pay tribute to Indian soldiers who died fighting in Egypt during First World War. Heliopolis, also known as Edens, commemorates 4,000 men who served and died with the British Indian Army during the First World War in Egypt and Palestine and who have no known grave. The panels bearing the names erected in the entrance pavilion to Heliopolis War Cemetery were unveiled by none other than but Indian Ambassador to Egypt in October 1980. PM will have official engagement with President of Egypt including bilateral talks with President al-Sisi and signing of MOU and agreements. Thereafter, PM Modi will return to India. So this is overall itinerary of PM Modi to Egypt. The Grand Mufti or Egypt, Saki Ibrahim Abdel Karim Alam visited India under ICCR's Distinguished Visitors Program very recently. The position of Grand Mufti is seen as very influential in Egypt as well as throughout the Arab and Islamic world. The Grand Mufti is the government's first and primary source of religious authority, is seen as symbolic religious representative of the government and is able to issue fatwas on various religious matters. His office, the Dar al Ifta al Misriya, literally the House of Fatwas of Egypt, a government agency charged with issuing religious legal opinions on any question to Muslims who ask for them issues some 5000 fatwas a week including both the official ones that he himself crafts on important issues and the more routine ones handled by a phone and internet by a dozen or so subordinate muftis. In addition to issuing fatwas the Grand Mufti of Egypt is responsible under Egyptian law for reviewing all death sentences in Egypt. So such an important position he was here. India attaches huge importance to Egypt and that showed when India invites Egypt as a special guest during G20 presidency. PM Modi's visit will help enhance trade and economic engagement between the two countries, Foreign Secretary Fenech Quatra said in his press conference. Now, why does Egypt matter so much for India that PM Modi choose Egypt to visit after US in the second leg of his journey? That's a very important question. Amid dynamically changing global and geopolitical geoeconomic situations and Egypt's 
current diplomatic and economic posturing as a facilitator and connector to the African West Asian and European markets make it a viable, lucrative and unavoidable strategic partner. So Egypt is. Egypt's strategic location at the crossroads of Africa, Asia and Europe gives it immense value. It also controls the Suez Canal, the only direct channel of global trade between waters connecting Europe and Indo-Pacific. As we know, approximately 12% of the global trade traverses through the Suez Canal. And given that fact, PM Modi choosing Egypt as destination during his journey is self-explanatory. Since India and Egypt share a civilizational connect, at the same time, Egypt has been one of India's important trading partners in the West Asia and Africa region. The India-Egypt bilateral trade agreement has been in operation since March 1978 and is based on the Most Favoured Nation Clause. The current bilateral trade between India and Egypt is around 7.26 US billion dollar. There has been a significant interest of Indian industry in developing commercial relations with Egypt. Over 450 companies are registered in Egypt and 50 Indian companies in agriculture, automobile, energy and chemical sector are presently working in Egypt at the moment. Total Indian investment exceeds $3.1 billion. Egypt is also perceived as a gateway to Africa due to its strong trading links and free trade agreements across the continent. The country offers fresh opportunities to Indian private sector and industry to expand its presence in the continent. Moreover, India and Egypt are development partners within the South-South cooperation framework. Both countries also share the common viewpoint of supporting African countries' development aspirations. During its presidency of the African Union, Egypt took some steps towards expanding development cooperation and investment with other countries on the continent. The possibilities of both India and Egypt working towards triangular development cooperation with other African countries are immense. Finally, Egypt is a very important partner of India in the multilateral arena. As we know, Nehru Nasser Tito Bonhomi that founded Non-Aligned Movement and recognized the need for reform multilateral institutions. India and Egypt are together as a member and dialogue partner respectively of the Indian Ocean Rim Association, IURA, SCO. As the president of G20 India has invited Egypt as a guest country for the summit to be held in September 2023. However, it is also important to remember that Egypt skipped a G20 tourism working group meeting in Kashmir along with Oman, China, Saudi Arabia and Turkey. Skipping of big ticket event held after the abrogation of Article 370 and withdrawal of special status to the now Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir in 2019 however has not made any dent in good relations between the two culturally linked nations. President Al-Sisi has also visited India earlier during the third India-Africa forum hosted by India in 2015 and subsequently for a state visit in 2016. India and Egypt relations are now a strategic partnership level with enhanced political security and economic cooperation. Both India and Egypt share similar views on a number of security issues, terrorism and cyber security in particular. Egypt like India has faced the scourge of terrorism for long. Cyber security is another area in which the views of the two leaders would definitely converge as they converged in past. Both countries share food and health security. Egypt. One of the largest importers of wheat from Russia and Ukraine had procured wheat from India after conflict broke out between Russia and Ukraine. Both India and Egypt had supported each other during the COVID-19 pandemic. India had supplied COVID vaccine to Cairo 
Similarly, Egypt had sent medical supplies, including oxygen cylinders, to India during the second wave. Now, if we talk about defense cooperation between the two countries, it is increasing by manifold. India has been training Egyptian armed forces officers since 1960s. Some of the recent engagements include exchange of widgets, joint military exercises and defense exhibitions. During RM Rajnath Singh's visit to Egypt in September 2022, a MOU on defense cooperation was signed by the two sides. A Suez Canal Authority chairman led delegation is in India. Egypt may allocate land to Indian industry in Suez Canal Economic Zone SEZ. The two sides decided to expand the bilateral trade to US dollar $20 billion in the next five years. However, to achieve this target, India and Egypt will have to address the imp impediments in expanding trade. During President Al Sisi's Republic Day visit, both countries signed five MOUs in the crucial sector, including cyber security, information technology, culture, youth matters, and broadcasting. With PM Modi's current visit to Egypt, India's geostrategic position will touch higher ceiling in Western Indo-Pacific. Simultaneously, both countries have win-win opportunities to expand their global footprints and development cooperation. Hope you like this video. If yes, please do share, like and subscribe. Keep watching National Defense. Jai Hind, Vande Matram.